here in Barcelona. I'm walking to Plaza Catalunya to meet up with Mika and Mark, the guys that I was with yesterday. We're about to hear the mass because it's a Sunday. This is the San Agustin Church. This is where usually the Filipinos go to church on Sundays. <laughs> They also said that during Christmas, pap chats more. There's more Filipinos. Um, they also, yung mass then is in Tagalog, which is surprising. Um, na magsimba sa ibang bansa, tapos Tagalog pa. Wow. We're in an Irish pub. Ayan. With a couple. <laughs> My tour, guys. What do we have here? We have nachos. Nachos, patatas, and. Oh, the next morning. Good morning, Barcelona, day five. I'm with EJ and. Hi. <laughs> Luis. Luis! They're going to tour me around Barcelona, maybe a little bit outside because I've been in the city for quite a while. So now it's time to explore some of the different areas. Yes, and they're also... Ay, ano ba to? Si Siri. They also... They're also vlogging. Wow! Nice, nice. Made it here on top of bunkers. I took some drone shots for you guys, but unfortunately, since it was my first time to fly my new drone, I was kind of having troubles flying with it. It's so nice that you can see the whole city and the beach. You can see the Sagrada, Sagrada Familia, Familia the and the Playa, yeah. the Glorias, Glorious. that's the stairs. It's not so bad. Tolerable so, so, so. man, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of exercise won't hurt us. Yeah. Yan, ang ganda dito. So, uh... ah, so this is the other side of Barcelona. Even if there's so many buildings, houses, it still looks nice. Because you can see the color is kind of similar to one another. Well, you have to take the bus number 24 or 92. Ayan. But since Louise has a car, I'm so lucky. <laughs> I don't have to take the bus. But it's so easy. You just have to go to a bus stop that has 24 and 92. Oh my gosh. You're in Park Another area which is Plaza de la Natura, yeah. right? Plaza de Natura, and it's also part of Gaudi's work. The famous Catalan architect from the but, Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, it is being under construction. It's under construction right now, and we have to pay 8.5 euros. And I don't know if it's worth it since it's under construction and yeah, and there's a lot of people. Also, if we pay now, they said that we're going to get inside at around 1.30 and now it's only 11 or 12. Yeah, so we don't want to wait for that long time since he has work and he has to go back <laughs> to the city 
at 3 p.m. They also said before that it's free. free yeah. yeah. Five years ago. And it's also mandatory for students to go here once in their lifetime. Well, once or twice. Once. Ayan. I think this is the closest spot that we can show you guys in Plaza de la Natura. I don't know if it's worth it, but for you guys, hey, you're in Barcelona, why not, right? But for me, I think I'm good with this area by seeing this. But some parts of the park are free to go around, but this area, no. I'm trying to post a photo on Instagram and I want Spanish caption and they're helping me out. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Antes solo era un sueño y ahora se ha vuelto real. Oh, di ba? May translator pa ako. May tagagawa ako ng caption. <laughs> Ang saya. <laughs> Is it the highest church here in it's Barcelona? Yeah. Oh, and it has a nice view. Ganda ng view din dito. And there's also a park. Ayan, parang Enchanted Kingdom. To get to Tibidado, you have to take a 100 okay. ilf. Tibidabo. Tibid. Tib. Tib. Da. Da. Bo. Tibidabo. Okay. Yeah. Ayan. <laughs> to get to Tibidabo, you have to take 111 bus. After exploring Barcelona for three hours, we are here at the Ramen House. It is located at Bierwell 23. It's near Central Area. You can easily Google everything here. Excited na ako kasi it's perfect for this weather. Malamig-lamig.